Is that pirate hunter dead? Aye, by my own hand. Why is it you alone can find what so many want? I was born with memories of this place. Memories of another time entirely, I think. Like a... Like another life I've already led. Curse you for a lurch, man, and speak some sense. Not today. After you, Captain. The path ahead is dangerous. The men native to this land will put up a fight. Are you willing to push back if necessary? Huh? To kill if needed. You'll hear from me soon. What's up, guys? I'm Patrick here, and what the fuck? We are back with some more Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag and since I don't want to end up like these guys I will kill if I need to but well we don't have to kill anyone in this mission well we can't because that's one of our secondary objectives we have just to take them out without killing them and these guardians are like ninjas and shit they will see you slash hear you from the other side of the map so keep that in mind that I found a nice way to do this this is the second time I played this mission I didn't finish it but uh, I played this first part as you can see we have to take them out from stalking zone the thing is they can hear you from the other side of the map so that's kind of hard, you know, to to take them out because they can just they will just detect you and fight you. This way, you won't right in the balls. Like this, you can do everything without any problems. You just wait for them to stand up and then shoot a sleeping duck. Oh, I fucked up this one. On me. Yeah. It's okay, we have a lot more guardians ahead. And the reason I had to restart is because I killed one. I didn't want to, but I did, and that gave me, like, I failed my secondary objectives. Uh, one of my secondary, ob uh, secondary objectives, which is don't kill anyone. So I had to restart and it wasn't a nice thing but uh, it's okay. Now, now I'm waiting for him to take, uh, stand up, run to him and then take him out. Like this. See? It counts. Uh, that's all we care about. Doesn't matter how we do the mission, the only thing that matters is we do the mission. Right? There's one more in there. So we have one more to take out in this one. Then we can fight pretty much everyone. And it's okay. I'm gonna take out this guy. Nice. Okay. So now we can fight everyone. Everyone. I'd like to loot this guy though. Easy. Can't find him. Okay, so it's fine. I want to loot him just to get uh, some sleeping uh, sleeping darts. Oh, nice two sleeping darts. Uh, because we need them. Since we can't kill anyone, we can fight them and shit. But uh, you know, sleeping. Any sleeping darts is always nice. I just hope he won't fall down. Okay, he doesn't. He won there. Crocodile. On there. I'm gonna... I might need to sleep the crocodile. Just make sure you don't kill them, that's all you have to do. Uh. 
Yeah, I can pretty much fight him. He will always get this shot unless you shoot him with the sleeping dart. And I don't really want to waste them right now. Um, there's circle dart. I want to take out the crocodile just in case he decides to kill someone. Okay, I see one garden there. I can't find the crocodile. It's okay. Let's fight this guy. Let me, bro. I so assassinate. I don't want to assassinate him. Okay, there he is. One more guy. Oh, I didn't shoot. Oh, what the fuck? I missed. Okay, he's gonna get always this hit. And it's okay. Let me check we are still good. Yes, we are. I'm gonna loot him. No sleeping that. Nice. And like this, this mission is pretty easy. Uh, as I said, I was playing this mission the first time. And I killed one of the guys. But I had to restart because I killed them. But first, be before I killed one of them, I was trying to, you know, to get, uh, to take them out from stalking zones without getting detected. And that shit is hard, I have to say, like, now this guy is, maybe he's, he's death and shit, but usually they, they will hear you doing this stuff, sneaking behind them and shit, they will hear you. And you don't want that, because they will turn around and fight you. Now this is one of the guys you can easily take out from stalking zones. So if you didn't manage to take out five of them with my method, you can just get in here and take out these two guys. You can whistle and uh, they will come in here, I mean they will follow you. And everything is easy. Now I'm thinking about these uh, like gunners first, just because I'm gonna explain everything. Just because we need to fight with these guys, we can't take them out here. We need to fight them. And I'm gonna tell you why. Because if you just take them out while they are in water, you will kill them. Okay, just let's hope it doesn't float in water. This one as well. Please don't. Okay. Are we still good? Yes, we are. Let's loot these guys. Just for sleeping darts. That's the only thing I really want from them. And I know you can kill them from if if you you sleeping darts on those two guys. They will die. And I know this because I already did this. No, not this mission, but uh, I already killed a few guys like this. So I'm already know who to do. Nice. We have three, four more in this section. As I said, we can pretty much fight them now, so it doesn't matter if they detect you and shit. No one cares anymore. The only thing is, be careful and don't kill anyone. Because if you do, you lose the objective. Nice. Let's see. And one more here. No need to use my shit. I, I can't understand why they 
became so stupid in this section. In the first section, there are like ninjas and shit. Here, they are pretty dumb. Okay, no guardians in here. But they see some dead people. Yeah, they did. More guardians in this direction. Just hope I don't meet a crocodile. Because I don't want to fight crocodiles. Mainly because it's a mm, quick time event and I hate quick time events. See, they deal a lot of damage. Mainly on the on the second hit, on the second shot. So keep that in mind. If you get hit once, if um, they have some kind of arts, I don't, I'm not sure what is that, but they damage you. Uh, anyway. You don't want to get hit more than once. Because if you do, they they can pretty much kill you. And I should use my Eagle Vision tool to find them. Because like this I will I will get killed. And I don't want to replay this mission. It's not that I don't like it, it just I don't know. This isn't the easiest mission in this game. And I like this mission, I have to say, because we had a lot of easy missions in this game. Only hard, well, hard. A little bit harder was the one where we had to kill the captain from a ro uh, rope swing. And the only hard thing about that mission was killing the guy from the rope swing. So. <laughs> We understand that ten wasn't really that hard, apart from the last, last, uh, last section, last secondary objective. Nice. So here one more. Where is he? See, that's a monkey, right? Yeah. You don't need monkeys. I mean, I have enough uh, bones and shit, and I can't craft anything right now okay all the way up here to just to check if i can find something or someone mm. i don't see anyone on the map Oh wow, <laughs> if he kills me I'm gonna be so mad, it's not even funny. Okay, so th this is bullshit. I I'm gonna keep this part in here so you can see what happened. I know I, I lost a lot of health just by, uh, you know, fighting them and shit. I mean, ju just by um, jumping down. I think it um, already like recorded my uh, already saved my first secondary objective. Anyway, uh, you saw uh, I dropped down. It's true, and I lost a lot of help there. But um, he, I was stuck, and that's some serious bullshit. So oh, I might need I, I might speed up the video from here. Oh I, I won't. I won't speed up the video. I just want to I, I just want to say that was some bullshit because I, I was stuck. I couldn't move, I couldn't do anything. It's just Makes me mad. Good thing we know where our guardians are now. We don't need to look for them. So let's take out this guy. 
<laughs> yeah, he's still there. Fucking piece of shit. This is the first time I I, I don't restart the whole mission when I, when I fail and shit. Just because I wanted to show you is this the what happened. All this. Some serious bullshit there. I will report this to Ubisoft. <laughs> Yo, Robert. And the door opens. After almost 80,000 years. Jesus, Robert! Have you gone mad? Quite the contrary, Edward. These wags would have gone mad at seeing what lies beyond this game. But you... Uh, I suspect you're made of stern, Esther. Now, pick up that chest. Carry it hither. This fucking guy. No, I don't want the weapon. Pick up object. Come on. Okay. See? Doesn't work sometimes. Can you? Okay. The game is back today. Not quite as I remember, but it has been over 80 millennia. Ah, rot. That's impossible. Step as if on thin ice, Captain. I must say I'm quite taken by this new vocation of mine. And it may amuse you to know that I have authored my own articles of conduct. A creed of your own, eh? To keep the peace, yes. I forbid all gambling upon the deck, for instance, for it leads to more conflict than camaraderie. Desertion during battle is forbidden. And I require that all men keep their pieces and cutlasses clean and fit for service at all times. Sensible. And punishable by death if disobeyed. Well, that's a step further than I'd go. Look at this place. Beautiful, isn't it? Aye. Like something out of a fairy tale, or one of them old poems. There were many stories about this place once. Tales that turned into rumors and again into legend. The inevitable process of facts becoming fictions before fading away entirely. More blood vials? Yes. These cubes contain the blood of an old and ancient people. A wonderful race in their time. The more you talk, man, the less I understand. I don't expect you to. Only remember this. The blood in those files is not worth a single real to anyone anymore. It may be again one day, but not in this evil. Here we are. Place the chest just there. What's that noise? Security measure. Just a moment. There we are. So, what is this place? Think of it as a large spyglass, such as we sailors carry. A device capable of seeing great distances. This is Mr. Jack Rackham, somewhere in the world at this moment. NASA. Well, this is happening right now. We're seeing through his eyes. I. I don't know, Jim. I haven't the faintest idea how to pilot a ship. That ain't work a woman does. Tosh. I've seen a score of ladies who can reef a sail and spin a capstan. And would you teach me to fight? With a cock glass, like? And maybe handle a pistol? All that and more. 
But you have to want it and work for it. There's no stumbling into true success. Hey, that! That's my last you're making love to. You lay off, or I has ya. Up your ass, Rackham. Lad's the last thing you should be calling me. Oh! Oh! Oh, is that right, is it? Lad? A curious bunch. Let's try another. Governor Woods Rogers. You have a bold idea, but I must think it carefully through. A simple pledge of loyalty is all you need suggest to the House of Commons. An oath, a gesture, and a simple ceremonial drum of blood taken from the finger, that's all. The ministers may give me trouble, but it should be easy enough to convince the House of Lords. They do adore an excess of pomp and circumstance. Exactly. Tell them it's a show of fealty to the king against those revolting Jacobites. Yes. Indeed. Oh, these Templars. The crucial detail is the blood. You must get a sample from each man. We want to be ready when we find the observatory. Agreed. A precious tool, you see. Sorcery, that's what it is. Not so! Every mechanism that gives this device its light is a true and physical thing. Ancient, yes, but nothing supernatural or strange. We'll be masters of the ocean with that. Oh, such ambition. <laughs> there is nothing in my code about loyalty, boy. You played your role, but our partnership is done. You're a dead man, Roberts! Look at this guy. Fuck my life. This mission. Find the way out. It's okay. Should be fairly easy. Apart from the fact I'm really bad with jumping and shit. Okay, so I won't be going that way. Good to know. I guess I will have to go there. Or, yeah. So let's see, how can I get there? Mm. That's the only way I can see. Can I get somewhere from here? Let's see. This reminds me of uh, the old Tomb Raiders. If you ever, if you have ever played those, like I mean, Tomb Raider one and two, three, four, even the five was pretty good. The I didn't like the the others. Okay, I didn't know about this. I didn't really like uh, the other. Tomb Raiders for PlayStation 2 and shit. But I liked the last one. It was pretty good, as you say. And there was a lot of jumping in those games. But I played those with a gamepad and I was pretty decent playing Tomb, Ra Tomb Raider. But with keyboard and mouse, I'm not the best jumper, you know? Please don't die. What the fuck? Okay, I found the way out. Am I bleeding? What the fuck? My ass is bleeding. Survive. Okay, can you please move so I can survive? Let's go faster because I'm losing health. What the fuck? 
Jack Dawes flown, Edward. Eh? That's the beauty of a democracy. The many outvote the one. Oh, you could sail with me, but with a temper as hot as yours, I fear you'd burn us all to cinders. Luckily, I know the king's bounty on your head is a large one, and I intend to collect. Have you, uh, have you ever seen the inside of a Jamaican prison, boy? This fucking guy. Okay, so we got the 100% sync. I'm gonna give this memory a free. Just, it was a good memory, but I got really mad when um, I got stuck there and uh, the guardian was able to kill me. Because if, if it worked how it's supposed to work, sorry, um, I. I wouldn't die there and I wouldn't get mad and the mission would be a lot better so I'm just gonna give it a free pretty good mission but uh, I had some problems <laughs> and yeah uh, it looks like we are going to jail in Jamaica probably probably not for weed <laughs> but yeah we are going to jail and yeah I hope you are enjoying I'm pretty sure we are going to finish this game Maybe not in the next week. I might finish this game today. If... I don't know. I might want to get... A break now for quite some time. Like maybe three hours or four. Get some sleep. Because I'm really tired. You can hear that from my voice. Um, from my voice, I'm pretty sure. And yeah. Anyways, thank you for watching and see you in the next memory.